Hey, how's it going everyone? We're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're going to be heading into Ultimate Clash. This is the 44th Dokkan Battlefield, so we're going to go ahead and test it out here, take all our units that we need, most of our top tier boys, you know how it is, and we're just going to rock all our type teams. So first up is Invisible Man, he's Int, which means, or he's Tech, which means we've got to take our Int, and that means Omega Shenron in the end is also tech, so we're going to use our uh, Super Int team against him. But we'll take Kid Buu and him as a leader. 130, 120 to stats. And I guess we'll just go with most of the Saiyans. Just rock that. It really doesn't matter. Most of these beginning fights are they're pretty easy. So, But I remember the last video we did, uh, AGL Super Vegeta kind of gave us trouble there. I had to let it be known that uh, he was stronger than Omega during that run. <laughs> or at least it looked like it. The way we got uh, handled there. But hopefully that doesn't happen this time. We should be good. Wow, look at Vegeta. 6.3 million right there. On a type team. I mean, he was getting the 50% support from... Uh, Scatter Vegeta there, but still. Most of his links active as well, but on a type team, 130, 120 to stats, not even a category team. And that Vegeta's 55%, by the way, my LR Vegeta. Alright, now we use our extreme AGL team. Rock those two as our leaders. 130, 120 lead. Yeah, we'll just take whoever, it really doesn't matter. We, we brought Birder with us just because uh, just we got Ginyu now, and we're going to give him that little extra extra attack and defense there in his passive. Oh man, we're going to bring AGL Turles too. Can't wait till he gets his easy A. Him and LR Turles uh, on the 200, on Ginyu's 200% leader skill is going to be crazy. Rock those two on rotation. You could rock LR Bojack and STR Bojack on rotation on his team. And then I just tested out full power Frieza and third form Frieza on his team. Yeah, definitely a lot of units you can run under his 200% leader skill with Terrifying Conquerors slash Planet Namek Slaga with the extra buff to Space Traveling Warriors. A lot of units intervene on uh, Terrifying Conquerors as well as Space Traveling Warriors, so... He's definitely got a good team. Ginyu is pretty good. Alright, Akka is out of here. Turn 1. Level 1 clear. So we'll head on to level 2. Looks like we're about to level up too. We're going to get our stamina back. I'm going to have to keep Link leveling after this video. Alright, now I can rock our Extreme Tech. Extreme Tech's always kind of wonky. I mean, you know, there's so many ways. I mean, there's so many different units on here. Not everybody's linking, like, at all. But, yep, everybody's max Link's on here as well. Uh, except Super Saiyan 3 Broly, I actually am almost done with him, I just started working on him. He's the last of the type leads who, who've gotten their easy A's, um, he's the last one I'm link leveling. I got the rest of them all maxed out. And he's the, he's the last one for reasons, because I think he's one of the worst ones. The only reason I'm doing it is because my buddy kind of conned me into doing Super Saiyan 3 Broly. And he does have the Saiyan lineage, and that gets to 2 key at level 10, so... At least Super Saiyan 3 Broly will be looking a little better on if I ever run him on teams, but I probably will start running him in Battlefield, I guess. Even though Extreme Tech is so wonky, I mean... Links are all over the place. But alright, we're moving right along here. Uh, we're going to take Extreme Physical this time. We'll just bring most of the LRs with us, plus Cooler. Cooler and SL as leader. Everybody should be Max Links on this team, except the Boo and... Uh, who do we bring with us? The Boo and Bobbity, yeah. As well as these guys. I don't have them Max Links yet. I haven't really touched them. I don't have any dupes for them, so I've really had no... No need or will to really link level them at all. B 
Yeah, we got LR Cells easy A. I wonder who's next out of the LRs. Um, we're still waiting on Goku Black and Zamasu, you know. They they did the first four LRs, Broly, Gohan, Trunks, and Majin Vegeta. Those four all have their easy A's, but now they're moving on to the 100% lead LRs. Like Cell, Bardock, LR Trunks and Goten. But they haven't done uh, Goku Black and Zamasu yet, it's kind of weird. Which means, like, we're gonna be getting Super Saiyan 3 Gokus eventually, LR Beerus and Whis, you know, all them. Bojack, oh man, when, when Int LR Bojack gets his EZA, that's gonna be ridiculous. Next to STR Bojack, man, he's gonna be insane. Like, he, he's already insane without an EZA. Like, LR Bojack's still pretty good. Offensively and defensively. Like, he could hit a little harder, I guess. But he's usually up over 200k, almost 300k on the right team, you know. Support, the right setups. Next to SDR Bojack, especially. And it's gonna be good to rock him on Ginyu's 200% leader skill. I mean, Alright, not too bad. We would have brought the extreme physical uh, LR Ginyu, but we, we do not have enough memory to even EZA them yet. Because we, we've been spending it on all the LRs they've been dropping and all the crap that's in the battlefield shop. And I should have realized a long time ago that once they dropped on JP, like, hey, I'm going to need a lot of battlefield memory for them. Like, I'm, I'm not going to be able to EZA them till like, the next season of Battlefield, maybe even the one after that. So it's going to be a while before we see a video of them on Captain Ginyu's team next to Ginyu and stuff. So that kind of sucks, but that's alright. Eventually we'll be able to EZA them. Once we get enough currency, they don't give us enough. Unless I just never bought, like, copies of Bobbity and Deborah, you know, and... Whoever else. Hell, I still need one copy of the Tech LR Ginyu Goku, you know? It's all so expensive. They need to drop more, more currency for us. Every battlefield, uh, because it's like once a month, you know? Basically. Every, like, 30, 31 days or something like that, we get a new season of battlefield. And it's a good event, like it's my favorite event. You get good rewards, I mean, you get to use all the type team. It's a really fun event for me to run. Just wish they gave us more currency so I could get, so I could have easy aid these guys already. I would have had to save up and not spend like any of it on anyone, I guess. All right, level two clear. Moving on to level three, the big boys. The ones that can catch me off guard if I'm not careful, pretty much. Like, Super Vegeta last time, even second form Cell's pretty strong, maybe these two. But alright, now we're using all our super teams. We'll bring Trunks, Bardock has the same leader skill as Trunks, but we'll just use Trunks because I think he's a little better. I did just get a dupe for Bardock though. Let's just rock them both, sure, why not? And we'll take him, we'll take Super Saiyan 3 Goku, him, and we'll take Blue Vegito. And give Blue Vegito a little love. Alright, Super Vegeta, not this time, my boy. I think you're gonna final flash us into oblivion. It's not gonna happen. You made a fool of us last video I did. Not this time. Because we got super physical in the house. I think last time, what, we used like super tech against him and he was, he was AGL. And he messed us up, man. I don't know who got hit. I'd have to go back and look. But he, he definitely wrecked our shit.
but we should be alright. He's already almost dead. He hasn't final flashed us yet, though. Right, I guess we can leave Gohan right there. He's probably the tankiest out of these guys. I mean, 48k defense, maybe not. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, he's got damage reduction, but he really needs that Trunks on the team to get that extra, um... What is it? Yeah, attack and defense, 120%. He should be alright, though. I think he's got, like, damage reduction and shit. Physical future Gohan's still a beast, even without a Trunks, but you definitely want the Trunks on the team. And we do. We do have physical LR Trunks on the team. Maybe it has to be in the same turn. I didn't really read it. We don't got time to look at everybody's passive and all their stats and stuff. Battlefield takes like a half an hour to get through, basically. Every time I do a Ultimate Clash video, it's it's pretty close to a, a half an hour. Beating all these stages. Alright, Super Vegeta is down. LR Bardock dealing the finishing blow right there. Let's do Cell next. He's our super tech team. Rock U is leader U. We'll take... Let's just take Vegito. Jiren. U, U. Maybe I should take off Vegito. Put him on. I could take Vegito off and take LR Gohan. He doesn't really have Shattering the Limit with anybody, though. I could take this Trunks. He might be a little better. All right, let's see how this does. We should be all right. Cell is pretty strong. He can he can definitely hit hard, and he's always healing, so we got to be careful for him, too. Uh, I guess we'll stick them out front. Can I get a super without giving Gohan all those orbs? I can't, so we're just going to do that. And we're not going to get an ultimate super attack with Goku and Frieza. And we still should be fine. They still raise their defense on super attack, so... <laughs> you just healed back all that damage we just did to him. Alright, Tech Gohan's getting the double super. Stacking up that attack and defense he is. This ain't gonna do nothing, so... Yeah, 80k. That's... Nothing. Yeah, we're not really doing too much damage to him, though. I guess we'll leave Trunks right there. We'll give Vegeta his three orbs and give Super Saiyan 3 Goku these rainbow ones. Alright, so I'll take it easy on Trunks here. 147k, holy man. That's like half our health. A little less than half our health, but we're still at like half health. Now we gotta take Cell down quick here. Come on, Vegeta. Yeah. Had a boy. Give him another final flash there. Super Saiyan 3 Goku with the 3 million. Twin Dragon Fist. Super Dragon Twin Fist, my bad. <laughs> these name, these attack names, am I right? Holy crap. This will stick Ultimate Gohan out there. He's got way more defense, and he's guarding. Yeah, my Tech Gogeta. I mean, he was on the Saiyan Day banner. We couldn't couldn't get a dupe for him. We did pull Majin Vegeta, though. So that's at least good. But I do eventually want to get some, pick up some dupes for Tech Gogeta there, have him at least 79%, you know, get him all the good equips and stuff. 
So, you know, him and STR Vegito, they're just crazy next to each other. And their animations, man. I, I love Tech Gogeta's animations. And we got Jiren here. I have yet to really do a video on him. I mean, there's so many people I could do videos on. I have so many units max links that I could showcase on different teams, man. You guys just need to let me know who you want to see. Alright, Cell's almost down here. I'm sure Trunks will finish him off, and that'll be it for Cell. And then we'll go to Feet Kamehameha Goku, and then that Piccolo, that giant Piccolo. Then we'll be on to Omega. And that'll be it. Alright, Trunks finished him off. Cool beans, alright, super strength, this is gonna be just, I mean, this Goku doesn't stand a chance, not with the team we're about to bring, there's so many, dude, like, I keep, I keep switching, like, I, I brought Super Trunks, and this guy is easy A, but like, there's so many people we could be rocking, honestly, let's run Kaba as a leader. And then we'll just bring Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta with this as well. Yeah. There's so many good super strength units, man. This team we're bringing here is, is just complete annihilation to this physical Goku. We've got everybody max links on this team except Kaba. Maybe STR UI can get a couple dodges off here. Or just eat that feet Kamehameha to the face. That's fine too. But he's going to dodge the two normal attacks. Because, you know, that's what Ultra Instinct does. STR Vegito here. Oh yeah, I forgot this guy can just attack multiple times. That didn't hurt that bad though. Those two can take it. Ooh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku with that crit right there, man. Holy crap. What's he get with Kaba? Nothing that he doesn't already get with Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, so... Man, when the Super Saiyan 4s get their easy A, the LR Super Saiyan 4s, and the three-year LR Fusions, man, that's just going to be... I mean, we're going to do videos on them all. Even the two gods who are getting their easy A, as well as Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Physical Omega Shenron. They're going to be getting their easy A's during the seven-year. We already got them all max links, just ready to pump out the content for you guys do the showcases with hopefully run them on the new LRs 200% leads because we're going to be doing some summons that is for sure during the 7 year hype man I don't know about you guys but I'm pretty excited LR Super Saiyan 4s and LR Gods Well, I'm going to stick you out there, UI. If you don't dodge, I mean, we're, we're kind of screwed. Yeah, we healed up a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I should do a video on STR UI as well. I got him 79% max links, you know, him and UI next to each other on, like, reps or, you know, Universe Survival Saga, Realm of Gods, any of those teams. Pretty much any team he's on, he's just a beast. Alright. That Goku, he almost, he was bringing us down, but he didn't quite have it in him. So now we're on to Piccolo, our Super AGL team's looking fine. 
guess we'll bring you guys, you guys, UI, Blue Vegeta, of course, and I guess we'll bring Go on. <laughs> no, you guys are probably looking at me and like, why are you not bringing any of these guys? I mean, AGL Trunks, he's 55%, so, but so is he. I don't even have him max link, so I'm just bringing him for the defensive support. And his active skill for the guard. Transforming Goku's good, but... Yeah, as well as AGL Gohan, he's kind of age. Same with Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku, but... This is the squad we're gonna rock. And then we'll be on to Omega Shenron. Alright, let's stick AGL UI out there. He's got any links, legendary power, and shocking speed with him. Fierce battle prepared for battle, and shocking speed with Vegeta. Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess we can keep those two on rotation. It'll be alright. Trunks and Goten at the end there. I forgot this Piccolo healed up too. I thought second form Cell was the only one who healed up. Alright, UI. I was gonna say, 70% chance to dodge. Alright, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Getting the double supers off. Doing the mega damage to this boy. Alright, they got Super Saiyan 3 Goku out, or Go Tanks out right there. Got all these AGL orbs for Trunks and Go or Gohan here, future Gohan. Almost said Trunks and Goten. Yeah, these guys are fun to run. Really glad we picked them up. On the hybrid Saiyan team, man. They're so, they're so tanky next to all the future Gohans and Trunksies. Here they go. They're gonna get their triple super off, hopefully. I think we got the eight orbs for the... Yep, and there's the triple super attack. Love these guys. Could be a little easier to get future Gohan out. But that's alright. Or at least get his revive off. Alright, Piccolo's down. LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku finished him off. Omega Shenron. The final boss, and he has been for a while. Alright. I really don't want... Like, he... Oh, man. Int Gogeta is good and all. But we might have to rock somebody else's leader. I don't know if I want to bring him. I mean, I will. I'll bring him. If we die, we die. We'll save uh, God Goku there for a leader skill, I guess. And Blue Evolution, Gogeta. And this Vegeta. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That'll be fine. Force comes to worse, we can always hop back in with another team. But it looks like we got a decent rotation here right off the bat, except he locked in UI, so I can't even put Blue Evolution out in front there. Oh man. We should still be alright. Even if he super attacks uh, UI right here. Which he usually always does, he'll always lock that first spot, then super attack whoever's there, so... That's nice of him, isn't it? Alright, Blue Evolution with a 2.8. Can we see a triple super, triple crit? My man. Oh yeah, there's an additional. Yep, 
At least he crit on that one. LR Gohan. Such an underwhelming easy A they did with him. I don't even know why we brought him. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I mean, War Rockin' was one of our leaders, but... Yeah, I guess we'll keep supers. I mean, yeah, we have to keep everybody where they're at, I guess. We ain't moving at all. And we'll just give him all those orbs. That'll be fine. He's still getting three rainbows, so they got a lot of key. Alright, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Show Omega the Big Bang Kamehameha. Maybe a counterattack too, if uh, Omega decides to super us here. Doesn't look like he's going to. GT Vegeta coming in. He's on the anniversary banner, but he's already 79%, so we don't need any more copies of him. But the GT Goku, uh, mine's only 55%, so we can use a dupe or two for him. But when the anniversary gets here, I'm sure we'll we'll take a look at the banners and see who all I can use and who not. Obviously, the three-year anniversary LRs and the four-year anniversary LRs are rainbow for me. And they're on the banner, so we're not going to be looking for them, that's for sure. Just the new LRs and Namek Goku. Maybe a dupe or two for full power Frieza, because mine's 55%. As well as AGL UI, my AGL UI is still 55%. And then we have one dupe in Blue Evolution, so I guess we could get one copy of him for the 79%. Anniversary banners are gonna be hype, man. Gonna be all kinds of LRs on there. Hopefully, we get the ones we want, though. And Madari, that's Ultimate Clash, everybody. Uh, let me know how you guys did in your run during uh, Dokkan Battlefield here. It's definitely still one of my favorite events, you know. Not too bad here. Probably usually takes us around like a half hour to clear or something, but yeah, there's all our rewards. 21 stones, or Kai's, got a sticker. Some other stuff, but alright guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching, let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next one.